DC archives contain archival history of British Columbia, which is valuable for both research and the preservation of our province's past. One of the thousands of files concerns the arrival of the Duke of Ors. Veronica Cooper has more. So these are uh, all of the records that we have that relate to the Royal Commission. Sally Butterfield is a Royal BC Museum archivist, and this file is of particular interest. This was really exciting for me because I'm from Grand Forks, and so I went to school with a lot of people who are Duke of Bors, uh, so it was really interesting to read through all of these documents. This shows their settlements uh, in Grand Forks and around Castlegar. The documents concern a royal commission from 1912 looking into the Duke of Bors immigration to Canada. So the Duke of Bors are a religious sect that originate in Russia um, and they came to Canada at the end of the 19th century uh, because they were persecuted by the Russian government and they're most well known for their pacifism, uh, their communal living and their ethos, toil and peaceful life. They arrived uh, around 1898 and they first settled in Saskatchewan where they spent about 10 years um, homesteading and developing land there. Uh, but around 1908 they migrated again to the southern interior of British Columbia. They settled in the West Kootenays. So there was a public inquiry to inquire into the sort of social makeup of the group, um, their community organization, their religious beliefs, and their relationship with um, Canadian and provincial laws. So it was Commissioner Blakemore uh, who was in charge of the commission, and between August 1912 and December 1912, he visited Dukabor communities in Grand Forks and in Brilliant near Castlegar, as well as Dukabor communities back in Saskatchewan. So it begins with a really thorough history of the Dukabors. Um, and then it goes into talking about uh, their habits, customs, and practices, uh, their religious beliefs. His final recommendations are that they are desirable settlers, is his term, but that uh, no more Duke of Bors should come to Canada until we can solve the question of uh, vital event registration, so births, marriages, and deaths, as well as um, education, because the Duke of Bors children weren't attending public schools. And reading through his reports, he found that they were very forthcoming, uh, they were very um, generous with their time, they volunteered a lot of documents to demonstrate uh, the land that they own and how they've developed it and their religious beliefs. So. The community seems to have, yeah, really welcomed the commission. Many Dukabors still live in the West Kootenays of British Columbia, working to protect and preserve their religion, language, and way of life. This Week in History, brought to you by the Royal BC Museum, bringing British Columbia's stories together.